Hello everybody, well Robins, Grackles and Redwing Blackbirds are here, so spring migration is certainly full on. And just a quick reminder that most migratory birds travel at night, so if you can't, please turn off your exterior lights at night until the end of May. The theme of our backyard feeding and environment is eggshells. If you eat eggs, please start saving up their shells because they can be used in a number of ways. During nesting season, female birds need extra calcium to lay eggs. And birds are always looking for bits and pieces of grit to help them digest bird food. So this is where access to eggshells is quite handy. Eggshells from boiled eggs can be served just like that, but eggshells from raw eggs need to be baked at about 250 degrees Fahrenheit until they're dry but not brown. And then you can simply crush the eggshells and mix them with your bird seed, fill your bird feeders with that, or you can find another spot somewhere away from your bird feeders and you can lay up a broken eggshells either on a piece of bark or on the rock. And then if your birds don't like the eggshells or if you don't want to serve them to your birds, you can actually toss the eggshells into your gardens or spread them all over your lawn because they are a wonderful organic fertilizer. Barry Price from Vancouver, British Columbia is wondering whether Cooper's hawks keep the sun at their back to surprise their prey. Hi Barry, you asked me if Cooper's hawks keep the sun behind them to surprise prey, much like fighter pilots did in both world wars. Because you've noted that these hawks seem to attack pigeons more from the east earlier in the day. Knowing just how cunning Cooper's hawks are, I would not be at all surprised to hear that they might use the sun in this manner. But just to be sure though, I contacted my buddy in Wisconsin, Dr. Bob Rosenfeld, who has literally written a book on this bird. He replied that Cooper's hawks have indeed evolved to hunt in structurally complex habitats and often use buildings and other structures, both man-made and natural, to shield their approach. However, he had not personally seen them or even heard of them using the sun, but he did agree that it was a plausible idea. However, I read a paper published in 2015 describing a complex study of hunting goshawks, a closely related species that prefers to hunt somewhat larger prey like grouse and hares. The scientists use a specially mounted head cam to examine how these hawks hunt their prey using their head movements and vision. Nothing was mentioned about using the sun. My guess is that raptors like peregrine falcons and perhaps even merlins, which circle up high in the sky before engaging in death-defying stoops to catch prey on the wing, would be much more prone to using the sun. It's long being held that only humans and some of the more social mammals like primates show sympathy to their fellow creatures to the point of caring about their fate. Well, guess what? This trait, known as pro-social behavior, has now been demonstrated in birds, Asia-winged magpies to be specific. Horg Bassen of Utrecht University and colleagues from other European institutions studied captive birds of this species by giving one magpie an abundance of mealworms a highly desired food for these birds. It was also given the opportunity to share the worms with other magpies through wire mesh walls, some also having access to mealworms and some with none at all. They found that the birds with plenty were not only willing to share their bounty, but they were also able to discern whether the recipients had need of the food. In other words, they were possibly demonstrating sympathy with the less fortunate individuals, whether the latter begged for food or not and there was a sex difference in the motive for generosity. The females mainly shared with those birds which had nothing, but the males shared with all other birds. According to the sciences, the males were likely advertising themselves by saying, look at how generous I am, whereas the females did it merely to help the others out. However, whether the birds are showing sympathy or empathy is yet to be determined. The region honey eater is a critically endangered bird native to Australia with only 300 birds inhabiting an area 
10 times the size of the UK. When researchers decided to track down those birds, they played recordings of region honey eaters to attract the wild birds. But what they soon realized is that they couldn't recognize any of their songs. You see, birds learn their songs by listening to either their parents or to other more experienced birds. Because there's so few honey eaters left in the wild and because they're so spread out, the young birds simply don't have anyone to teach them, so they started making up their own songs as they go along. So the plan now is to record the songs of the captive bird honey eaters and to play those songs to the wild birds in the hopes that they will learn the songs fast because there is a group of captive bred honey eaters that is ready to be released into the wild. But the biggest concern is that the female captive bred honey eaters will not recognize the songs of the male wild honey eaters and they will simply not mate. Audubon Great Lakes is starting an incredible initiative to restore and protect 300,000 acres of wetlands and sensitive areas along the shores of the Great Lakes over the next 10 years. The conservation efforts will include removing the invasive species, building a lot of nesting platforms, and controlling the number of predators in those areas. The piping plover and the black tern are just two of many other bird species that will benefit from this positive human intervention. This project has become possible because the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative became a law earlier this year, which allowed the federal government to release more funds to help restore these sensitive areas. All right, so now it's time to say goodbye. Again, our photo contest is still open. It's crows, jays, and magpies. Don't forget to ID your birds. And please do let me know if you put out eggshells, which birds come and check them out. Take care, everyone. I'll see you in two weeks.